With the proper live action introduction of Thrawn, audiences also got to meet his personal legion of stormtroopers. And these guys look a bit different from normal everyday stormtroopers. These troops have worn, broken plates with gold being used to mend them. Not too unsimilar to the Japanese practice of Kintsugi, which consists of mending broken objects and replacing their lost pieces with gold. These are the Night Troopers, named after Thrawn's close association with the Night Sisters of Dathomir, who reside on Paradia. Leading them is Enoch, a trooper that possesses a very unique and also very off-putting helmet that features a golden faceplate. Enoch's face mask is special. While it does have ties with Roman military iconography, which coincides with a lot of the Roman legion imagery that the night troopers are coated with, but it also resembles more of a funeral mask. The sort of which ancient people like the Greeks would put on their dead as a way of helping them to retain their identity in the afterlife. Now, earlier on in the season, we met an inquisitor named Merrick, who, it turned out, was dead already. Peak the smoke indicative of Night Sister magic when he died. Could it be that Enoch, or even the entire Night Trooper Legion, are dead, having been returned to life by the Night Sisters in order to serve Thrawn from beyond the grave? It's possible, and honestly, pretty likely if I had to guess. 